Hello, uh, my name is Nicholas Yates. Thanks for watching this video on how to download, install, and launch Blackboard Collaborate sessions. This video showcases uh, how to download, install, and launch Blackboard Collaborate sessions using a Mac and specifically using the Google Chrome internet browser. Depending on settings on your computer and also in Google Chrome, your, the process may look similar to this, but not the, exactly the same. I would encourage you to please look at what needs to happen on your computer and not what has happened on my computer. That means that some things may be different, but I'm sure you can follow it to understand the process and identify the differences to complete the steps. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go to the Blackboard Collaborate tool in your course or maybe your teacher has sent you a set of instructions and included in that instructions is a link to a Blackboard Collaborate test session. Either way, you'll need to use one of these to download uh, and install the launcher. I'm going to show you how to go there through a course. So I'm going to click on the course. And over on the left hand side click tools and I want this one with the purple logo called Blackboard Collaborate. From here you'll see that there are a number of possibilities. The easiest one may be just to go and join a room up here. You can join any room. Because this is my first time using Blackboard Collaborate I'll need to download the launcher. Somewhere on this page you may see the instructions. If you can't open the Collab file download the Blackboard Collaborate launcher. And again, I want to download the launcher. You'll see that the Blackboard Collaborate launcher file is currently being downloaded to my downloads folder. Depending on your settings, it may be downloaded to your downloads folder, onto the desktop, or onto another folder you have designated. My file has downloaded, so now I'm going to start to install it. need to run the zip on a Mac. And typically we need to drag this from the downloads to the applications. Now I'm in the applications folder and my Blackboard Collaborate launcher, I'll just show you the whole window, my Blackboard Collaborate launcher is now sitting there. Next, I want to go back. From now on, you won't have to download the launcher each session but you still do need to download a file. It's called the meeting.colab file. And for every session you join, you will download a unique file for this. Like I said, on the Blackboard Collaborate page, your teacher may schedule some sessions. The ones with the purple logo are ones the ones that are available to you to enter. So, this test session is open right now. I'm going to uh, click on it and I'm going to join the room. Again, it downloads uh, a file and I'm going to open it with Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. If you want to streamline this process, you can say, start saying do not show these messages again, so click run. Now the Blackboard Collaborate launcher is opening the meeting.colab file. And this is my view as a teacher. Your view will be very similar to this. There may be a few different options along the way that you see. Uh, one being internet speed, but just keep on clicking OK and you'll get to the session. Good luck everyone and I hope you enjoy using Blackboard Collaborate with your teacher.